Welcome to the CSSN channel. Our topic for today is interaction between grapefruit and medications. My name is Abu Zahd Habibinia. I have an MD degree and I am the director of the Canadian Academy of Sport Nutrition. Subscribe to the CSSN channel on uh, YouTube to enjoy the information that we share on a regular basis about medicine, weight loss, fitness and sport nutrition. Okay, today I'm going to show you how grapefruit can interact with certain uh, medications. Let's see what is the interaction, how the interaction happens, and if the interaction could be dangerous. Okay, uh, in grapefruit, aside from uh, those vitamins and minerals, there are unique phytonutrients. One of the interesting phytonutrients uh, you can find in grapefruit they are called foranocoumarins. Foranocoumarins, they are sort of phytonutrients that you can find mostly in grapefruit. We have many subtypes of foranocoumarins. I have listed in here uh, top five of them. Uh, bergamotin, uh, the hydroxybergamotin, bergaptin, isobergaptin, and Seralin. There are a couple of more. I just listed top five for onocumarin that you can find definitely in uh, grapefruit. Actually, these two, those are the ones that I have marked with red, bergamotin and dehydroxybergamotin. These two for onocumarins, these two are the ones that are responsible for uh, drug interaction. But let's see how the interaction happens. When you take any medication, the medication is gonna go to your small intestine and from small intestine to your liver. In the small intestine and liver, we have an enzyme complex which is famous in medicine as cytochrome P450. This is an enzyme complex that normally we have in the small intestine and in the liver. This enzyme complex is responsible for metabolizing and breaking down most of the medications that you take. The activity of this enzyme is going to affect the metabolism of the medications you take. If the activity of this enzyme uh, basically has gone up, is high, we call them enzyme induction. If the activity of the enzyme has been decreased, the activity of the enzyme is low, we call them enzyme inhibition. There are certain dietary factors and medications that they can cause enzyme inductions. That means they're going to increase the activity of the enzyme. I can give you some examples. Vegetables from brassica family, broccoli, cauliflower, cabbage, kale, they increase the activity of this enzyme. And two famous medications in medicine, carbamazepin and phenytoin. These two medications uh, are famous in medicine. Usually they're prescribed for people with epilepsy and seizures. So vegetables from brassica family, broccoli, uh, cauliflower, cabbage, kale, and uh, two famous medications, carbamazepin and phenytoin, they increase the activity of this enzyme. But on the other hand, we have some dietary factors and medications that they're going to decrease the activity of this enzyme. Grapefruit is here. You see these two nutrients, bergamotin and dehydroxybergamotin, they decrease the activity of this enzyme. So when you're having grapefruit with those medications that I'm going to give you uh, examples, what happens? Because the activity of the enzyme uh, has been decreased, the medication is going to stay in the body longer. There is a possibility of overdose. So grapefruit causes enzyme inhibition. What else? Burst control pill. There's a famous medication in medicine, tagamet or cymetidin, which is prescribed for you know, stomach acidity, stomach ulcer. They cause enzyme inhibition. 
Now you know two uh, foreign cormorants, bergamotin and dehydroxybergamotin, that you find in grapefruit. They decrease the activity of cytochrome P450, which is responsible for metabolizing many medications. The list of the medications that they have interaction with uh, grapefruit is very long, and you can go to our website, uh, ccsn.com. It's a giant website. There is a search engine. Just type it over the grapefruit. Then when you go to the grapefruit section, you're going to see the uh, complete list of the medications. But I'm going to actually put in here for you top four uh, basically uh, nutrient or medications that have interaction with uh, grapefruit. Caffeine. You see, caffeine is metabolized by this enzyme complex. So when you are having caffeine pill, or when you are having your coffee, which is giving you caffeine with grapefruit, because the activity of this enzyme uh, has gone down, uh, caffeine high effect is going to last longer. Uh, another famous medication, Amio. Daron. This is a famous medication uh, for uh, heart diseases. Statins. Statins. Statins are the most commonly prescribed medications for people with high level of LDL cholesterol. Pretty much all those statin medications, such as Crystor, Lipitor, they have interaction with. Uh, grapefruit and one more here uh, buspirone this is a famous medication for anxiety so i listed top four medications that they have interaction with uh, grapefruit buspirone statins amiodarone and caffeine and as i said for the complete list of the medications you can go to our website cisism.com and just type it over the grapefruit and you're gonna find the complete list of the medications that have interaction with uh, grapefruit actually not only grapefruit we have three more fruits that they decrease the activity of cytochrome p450 but most people most practitioners they just know grapefruit what are those three more fruits uh, i'm gonna put in here uh, bitter orange bitter orange has the same effect bitter orange sometimes it's called uh civil orange pomelo pomelo and goji berries so bitter orange pomelo and goji berries they decrease the activity of this uh, enzyme complex leading to enzyme inhibition definitely they're going to have the same interaction with those medications now you know how the interaction happens because we make science easy to understand now you know if you don't want to miss our next videos you can subscribe to the CSSN channel on YouTube to support us you can share like or comment on this video until next time stay safe stay connected